What is up YouTube? In this video I just want to fill you in on my verdict on polyphasic sleep um, and where I'm going with this channel. So polyphasic sleep, what's the verdict? The verdict is I don't want to force myself anymore. I became a freelancer because I want to be able to do the work I find inspiring. When I worked a job as an assistant manager, I had someone cracking the, cracking the whip and now I'm starting to crack my own whip by setting out these schedules that I need to stick to and sometimes it just feels like a job and I don't want to live my life that way. So this means that I'm not sticking to a schedule per se, but I am still segment in my sleep so typically i'll sleep between three to three and a half hours and then i'll take a second sleep my second sleep has been quite long it's been about three hours so you're looking at six and a half hours in total and usually a nap around about lunchtime so i'll see how i get on with a three to three and a half hour core and a one and a half hour second core the reason for this is it focuses me. When I just allow myself to sleep, I can sometimes sleep for over nine hours. Not particularly because I need, <laughs> totally butchered that, not particularly because I need 10 hours, but it's just, oh, you know, I'll just lie here and mm, will, will I get up? I don't know, maybe I'll just lie here. And then because my body's been in one place for so long, I'm really stiff, I get neck ache. So there's definitely, for me, benefits to segmenting your sleep. It's very quiet in the middle of the night and I can really, I find it easier to focus and I can see why a lot of writers will write in the middle of the night. It worked for Wayne Dyer, that's how he wrote the majority of his books. He would get up at three and he would write and do his creative work. So that's pretty much it as far as polyphasic sleep goes for me. I know it's been a polyphasic sleep channel for the past couple of years, it wasn't always that way. It was a vlog channel, it was me. Um, I'd set myself a challenge and then I'd tell you that I'm gonna do it. And because I'm making a daily video, it would encourage me to follow through. And it's still gonna be that, but it's gonna be based around other topics. Like, I'll fill you in. I'm gonna be talking about connecting with people. I want more connection in my life. I want deeper and more meaningful relationships. I, I want to, and I wanna document that journey because I know I'm gonna need a little bit of accountability. And I wanna make it a thing. I don't want it to be this fuzzy notion. Yeah, I want this. You know, how many things do we tell ourselves that we want that we're not doing anything about it? By making it a thing, and by that I mean making videos saying, hey, this is what I want and so this is what I'm gonna to do to align myself with that and allow it to come into my life. Uh, so there's that. I'm playing around with the idea of doing some public vlogging because that would be a challenge and I think I'd be pretty, um, yeah, I would like to be that kind of person that just doesn't give a frig about what other people think, can quite hope, happily hold a camera there even though there's people in the background trying to put me off. I'm so focused on what I'm saying that it doesn't matter. I think that I would like. Why, why am I talking about this? I've really admired people who are bridge builders. People who can get on a plane, fly to another country, go to a restaurant or a bar, you know, hang out somewhere and casually shoot the breeze with the guy who stood over there or the bartender or the waitress and have a friend like that. He can jump on a plane, go to Pol Poland, have a tour of the uh, concentration camps. This is something he did recently. And he, he can go to a bar, enjoy a meal, 
by himself and he can get to know people and he'll come home and he's got a bunch of people he met he've had he's added them to it his whatsapp and <laughs> he's making connections and he's introducing people oh you'd love to meet my friend i'll hook you up he, he's a bridge builder so he's been giving me some tips that i've been putting into practice and i've been getting some positive results tips on how to connect to strangers which I won't go into detail on this video I just wanted to fill you in so the other thing the other topic is building a YouTube channel and that will provide me a little bit of accountability as you know if you've been following along I've used this channel as a way to practice talking to the camera to accept myself because you know I, I, I have in the past been a little bit precious when it comes to, you know, how's the hair looking and, you know, fretting over silliness when I want humility, I want dignity, I want to focus on the message and how my message and my sharing on camera can be of benefit to you and anyone who comes across my video. So I've used it as a tool. So if I talk about how to build a YouTube channel uh, and how to uh, have that YouTube channel support you, which I'm slowly moving into. I've been in talks with a potential sponsor for <laughs> this talk. <laughs> This exchange that we've been having over email has been going over the course of a month and I've learned a lot which I may divulge at some point and that may help you. If you've ever wanted to set up your own YouTube channel and make it into something that can support you, uh, whether it's because you want to share your message or you want to be a coach. I'm taking my life coaching diploma this year. I've been looking at some job descriptions that require some coaching and some mentoring skills. Uh, so I think that, well, I know it's going to be valuable. It's going to be of value to me to get my coaching diploma. So I've got all these ideas. I'm, I'm flying around. I'm flying around in my head. Uh, um, so those are the topics I would like to go into. And so there you have it. There you have it. I'm tempted to delete all of my polyphasic videos because I feel for people out there. I feel for people who are in the place that I've been in myself where you're in time shortage. You're in time shortage and you're cracking the whip and you're just banging out action for the sake of banging out action. You're not even connected to it. You're not even excited about it. You're motivated by the fear of what might happen if you don't do it. And there's a difference between that and taking the action because there's nothing that can stop you from taking it because it's just the next logical step, you're in the flow, you're energized, you want to do it, you're excited to do it, you can't wait to get out of bed to do it, you're inspired. There's a difference between that kind of action and motivated action, which is doing it because you're afraid of what might happen if you don't do it. And polyphasic sleep and time shortage time shortage ness i've been there i've been there and i don't want to encourage it anymore so sleep really is a non issue i've gotten a lot out of polyphasic sleep i've had a lot of fun i am segmenting my sleep that's what i got out of it is i don't like being lying in the same position for 8 hours because i get neck ache and the body does thrive on movement. So that's what I've been able to get out of it. I'm not cutting down my sleep per se, because I get on average six to seven hours. I'll leave it there. I hope that's brought you up to speed. And I hope that if you feel you'll get something out of me, 
connecting. I bought three courses on Udemy about how to grow your network, how to find mentors, uh, and, and that kind of thing and I'm putting it into practice and it's been very helpful but I'll leave that for future videos I'll catch you later thanks for following along thanks for all of your well wishes as well it was my dad if you watched the last video my dad was in hospital he, he's in his late 80s he's out of hospital now but he's not been able to go back home He's in an elderly home slash physiotherapy type situation. So I've been back and forth uh, making visits out of the city over the past four weeks. Uh, so that's that. I'll catch you later. Whatever you're doing, take it easy. Be in the now. Be connected with what you're doing. And I'll catch you later. Peace.